All right, guys, here we go. This one is going to be a nine millimeter test, and it is the Federal Premium 124 grain Hydroshock. So this one looks like has a little post in the center. Pretty old school round, but we're going to see if we can keep up with uh, today's technology, and we're going to be going through the jugs. We got five lined up with four layers of cotton t shirt, and uh. So something just happened. I'm probably not going to be able to get chronograph numbers on this one. Actually, uh, before testing, put a 22 mag through the chronograph. I'll show you that. So here's the hole I end up putting here. Mess the screen all up. So I've been looking for one for a while. Still haven't found one, but uh, we'll get one soon so we can get those numbers back. But for this one today, I don't think we're going to be able to get any numbers. But uh, that's all right. We'll see what kind of performance we can get. But we are going to send it through the jugs. Here we go. All right, so we're stepping back to 15 feet on this one. All right, let's see how that one did like a cotton t-shirt blew back over here by us let's see looks like we got a pretty good center shot there's the entrance on that two layers and somewhere in this mess let's see exit on that two layers so sorry we weren't, weren't able to get chronograph numbers we will do it a retest this one in the future just so we can hopefully get some numbers but anyways here we go so we got our first jug looks like we got a pretty good center shot split that thing really nicely a lot of energy dump on that one pretty surprising and i'm using a different type of jug this time too i wasn't able to find my normal one so these are just a little bit thicker but we still should have some pretty good results but we have a split up here by the handle and there is our exit hole looking nice and jagged so hopefully we're getting some expansion but pretty good energy dump that is jug number one then we got jug number two still nice center shot and blew out the handle over here and it does look like we have an exit nice big hole on that one that is jug number two and I can actually see a pedal right here, so we'll put that aside for now. And let's check out this third jug. So it looks like we caught it in the third. You can hear it tumbling around in there. Once again, still tracking nice and straight, pretty good size hole. And there's a little bit of a punch here. I don't know if the camera's picking that up at all, but uh, nothing on jug number four. So we're going to pull this one out and see what it looks like. All right, check that thing out. It actually did really good. I'm actually pretty surprised. Uh, it is an old school round, but it looks like it can keep up with the rest of them. I thought that uh, cotton t-shirt was in a clog it for sure. You can see that post in there just kind of bent over. And we did shed one pedal that I can find. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that's the only one that actually lost, which was right there. But those ones peeled back pretty far. Right over the base. But... Looking pretty good to me. Got some really good mushrooming on that thing. Pretty cool looking round. And like I said, we will get some chronograph numbers next time. Um, this one was just for fun today. Because we actually shot that chronograph. But uh, that's alright. Happens. But anyways, that is 9mm 124 grain. Hydroshock. Out of the Smith & Wesson SD9 VE 4 inch. There we go.